Hallelujah. And so what we're going to do is going to get just a little bit of understanding of that word in itself. Now, when I looked up the word, if some of you who have have your um, Hebrew and Greek keyword study Bible, you go check this out with me real quick. Go check this out with me, and we're going to define this just for a moment. We're going to let you see how important that it is that the scriptures tell us over in the book of 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, is to study to show yourself approved. Amen. You're going to have to study, brothers and sisters. 1 Timothy 3.16, I think it says, it said that all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. And it is profitable. Are you following me? And we're going to see something, a shocking thing right here take place. Let me get over there for a second. What did I say? Deuteronomy 23, right? Yes. That's where we're at, right? Now, y'all watch this. Y'all pay attention to this. We're, gonna, we're not going to rush through this, all right? We're going to get this thing. Now, when I look up the word... Um, Edomite. Now, if you notice, in your Hebrew Greek concordance, there's not even a number there. Is that right? You know, it's supposed to have the strongs in the back. Now, then that throw up another flag. Now, wait a minute. Why is there not a number next to this important word? So, you know what I did? I just went on my little journey of studying. So, let's look at 130 in the Hebrew. Go to 130 in the Hebrew, and let's see what it says, all right? Now, for those of you who don't have it, we're just going to turn on over there, and we're going to read 130 there in the Hebrew, all right? And it says, <clears throat> it says, Edomite, Edom, and that's it. Is that right? Then it says, look at this, 123. Now, let's go to 123, all right? 123, it says, uh, then it gives Genesis 25, 25. It says, Edom, look, the elder twin brother of Jacob, Adamenium, occupied by him, Edom, Edomites. Y'all remember the pronunciation that God put up on there? So I said, now, wait a minute, it's going somewhere. Now, but when you get your other strongs, it, say, it will tell you, uh, when you go so far, it will say omitted. You remember I told you about those words, omitted. All right? So I said, no. But you notice it also says on the computer thing to click on all these Click on this words or click on this verse right here or whatever, something like that, in order for you to see all the scriptures that pertaineth to this. Then a very interesting number comes up. And that number is um, 726. Let's go to 726. See if it's, now, it's probably going to say it right here. You're going to get your big, strong concordances out. You know, those big books and stuff. And we go over to 726, and we also see, look what it says right here. It says, oh, oh, yes, it does say it. 726, I'm going to read it. Clerical error for 130. An Edomite. Y'all hear that? Wow. And then it gives you the word that should have been there. Syrian. Ha. Huh. Huh. Think about that. Are y'all reading the same thing I'm reading? All right, it says, look. It, and I'm surprised it even says, right, it says the clerical error of 130 and Edomite, as in the margins. Then it says Syrian. So the word that should be there is a Syrian. There's a difference between an Edomite and a Syrian. Isn't that remarkable? And then you go a little bit further. It says in the Strong's omitted, Amorite, Syrian, Edomite. So it's actually trying to distort a little bit, but the bottom line is, is that 130, from where that word Edomite comes from, in Deuteronomy 23, verse 7, is a clerical error. And the word that should be inserted there is Syrian. Wow. Why didn't you ask yourself a question? Why come they just couldn't put Syrian there, did they? Were they blind in one eye? Can't see out the other? What was going on? Hmm? You see the reason why I, I, I believe the, the scripture when it says um, prove all things and hold fast that which is good? Mm -hmm. Go to Malachi 1 1. Malachi 1 1. Isn't this something? Isn't this something? Now you remember uh, that it's already been prophesied of that, that um, Esau or the Edoms was always going to use the sword against his brother. Y'all didn't know that? Oh, yeah. You can read it over in the book. I mean, when. I, you know, sometimes, I, I mean, I hope I'm not stretching beyond measure and stuff, but I actually think that I'm talking to uh, people that are interested in God. 
I really, I mean, just excuse me for a minute. I know that you don't all spend time, st you know, studying this area and there. You got your own particular areas and stuff. But when you can see that we're going a certain way on Sabbath, because that's what Sabbath is for. It's here for worship, here's for praise, and then it's here to, for us to get clear understanding of the intent of what our God and purpose, what He wants from us Amen. as a people. And the one thing He 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 said does is, I would not have you to be ignorant. Brethren, the institutions of higher learning ain't gonna teach you what you get taught here. Your, your churches ain't gonna teach you what what you get taught here. You forget about it. it. Ain't gonna happen. Malachi one one, brother, go ahead. The burden of the word of the, the Lord. The burden of the word of Yahweh to who? Israel. Ah, how you doing, Israel? How you doing? See, he ain't gonna never say to the Christians. I'm making a distinction for those who understand. By who? Malachi. Malachi. Read on. You sure it ain't Malachi? Well, can be, I guess. Okay, go ahead, brother. <laughs> I have loved you. I have loved. Who, who did he love? Israel. Israel. Is that right? That's right. Say of who? The Lord. The Lord. Read on. Yet ye say. Yet you say. What did, you, what did Israel say? Wherein hast thou loved us? Isn't that something, God? Where have you? Now, first of all, he's not the one to be in question. Isn't that right? That's right? If he said he loves us, as period. He loves us. Right. I don't have no compunction with that. No. Read on. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Uh-oh. Saith the Lord. Uh-huh. Yet I loved Jacob. You understand what God is saying right here, the most high? Do y'all understand what he is saying? Come on with it. And I hated Esau. And he did what? Hated Esau. Come on. And laid his mountains and 